Good morning, everyone. Well, it's kind of the afternoon, but I just got ready and I'm kind of tired from yesterday. I flew from Oregon to LA and then LA to here, but on the way to LA, when we were getting into, uh, I would say about 45 minutes out, we started hitting some weather. And in LA, there's been all that flooding and the storms and everything, so. We flew through that and the plane was dropping like we would fly and then it would be a little turbulent but we would drop a good what felt like 10 to 15 feet at a time. I don't know if I'm being dramatic or not but that's what it felt like. <laughs> and the landing was pretty scary. It took a while to get down and we had to come back up a few times because the storm was getting too heavy. Finally we made our landing into LA. And once I got in the airport, I was glad to be off the plane, but I was supposed to catch another flight right then, like hop to the next plane. But my next flight got delayed six times because the weather was so bad, so we couldn't leave LA and fly to Phoenix. And so I was stuck there for quite a while. I was glad to finally be on it and like come home. And it's only an hour flight from LA to Phoenix, but it was an awful hour flight. It was basically super turbulent the whole way. Um, landing in Phoenix was pretty turbulent. We came through a storm here too. And yeah, it was not the best day for flying, but I'm just glad to be home and finally gonna go get some groceries and get my crock pot meals ready for the week. And yeah. Do you hear the jets? Oh, it is cold and stormy. There it is. Anyways, look at these clouds. Man, they're gonna fly through some storm going on. It is chilly and rainy and cold. I have puddles all over my backyard. Oh, nasty out today. The ground is freezing. I'm hungry. And I'm waiting. I've been hungry for a couple hours, but my friend's coming over and I figured we would have dinner, so I'm really hoping that she will be hungry too. And I'm basically baking on it. Cause if not, I need to eat something before I go to the grocery store because you all know, can't go to the grocery store while you're hungry. Duncan! Veronica's almost here and we are gonna go get food because I am hungry. So Veronica came over and now we are at Red Robin. Yum. Yum. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe he's just really excited to go eat. That's why he ran around and oh, yeah, so her door. I parked like where there was no cars by us and then some guy parked up and Veronica's like, well, it's not alone anymore. And this guy ran around his car to open the door for his date. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the background if you can see him. <laughs> so we just got done eating at Red Robin. I know how I was talking about those people that parked right next to us. Well, they also sat right next to us and it was open seating. And they decided to get a little close. So, that was fun. Pizza, snacks, I think it was on that one. They don't have like a white selection of this here though. I would say he tried this monster and it's really good. Right here, here's pestles. Berries, these are junk. So we were walking to, out of the grocery store and we walked over there because we thought I parked there <laughs> and realized um, I did not. I am at the other side of the parking lot. So that was fun. All these groceries. I just got back from getting a bunch of stuff at the grocery store. I'm excited because tomorrow night I'm going to try and make this buffalo crock pot chicken recipe. And excuse me while I close my shades. So I'm gonna try and make this um, crock pot chicken recipe and my friends are gonna come over for dinner. So we'll see how that turns out. And I just got a bunch of stuff for the week, some extra chicken, fruit, um, you know, the norm, the normal stuff. So this is what my grocery run looks like. Just got some pasta, some chicken. Tomorrow night I'm making chicken in my crock pot with the buffalo sauce. And then you put the ranch packet in it too. And then these hoagie rolls are um, kind of what you put it on. It's going to be like a buffalo chicken sandwich. So that'll be good. And then make up some broccoli and some fruit to go with it. So now I was at the grocery store. I bought a um, 
what do you call it, a roll or something of cookie dough. And I already, I already cut part of this off to start making the cookie, but um, this is the giant one. And these are normally 456, I think is what it said. And right now they are $1.25. So I got one of these and I'm going to make a cookie pie. So I made the cookie pie and right now it's done. So, now I just have to cook it. It's baking! Look at how yummy it looks. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> if I turn off the light, all you see is me. Ah! The cookie is done! Look how big it is. It got so big that it expanded to the edges, but that's okay. It's just supposed to be like a cookie pie. I think I accomplished that. Watching Chopped. I love watching it because it's like a really fun competition, but I think the way they incorporate these weird foods is hilarious. Like this is carnival. So they have candied apples, corn dogs, and cherry drink deep fried. So that's interesting. Cheese, asparagus, see what I mean? See what I mean? So now that my cookie pie is done, I'm just letting it sit and I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut it tonight. I'm probably gonna cut it tomorrow. Um, so right now I'm just having some cheese and crackers and I would have some wine if I liked wine, but I don't. And just gonna chill for the rest of the night. 